Hi, this is Graham Osborne. I'm a composer for film, TV and video games. And we're just going to put the MacBook Pro through its paces in this video. It's going to be short and sweet, but we're just going to give this a bit of a real time test with a, a real life project. So before we dive into the detail, let's have a look at the machine itself. This is a 2021 16 inch MacBook Pro. It's got the M1 Max chip in it and it's got 64 gigs uh, of RAM and it's running the latest version of Monterey. So it's a cutting edge machine. So what we're gonna do is load up Cubase and we'll just get the track loading. It's a fantasy track, so it's quite heavy on instrumentation. Um, there's about 60 virtual instrument tracks included, mostly contact, uh, mostly running Spitfire, audios, uh, woodwinds, brass and um, strings. I've got one or two instances of east-west opus in there just to add some cymbals and some snares. And pretty much every track is also running a FabFilter Q2 equaliser just to scoop out some of the bottom ends to take away some of the mud. Um, and I've also got about half a dozen uh, Lexicon random hall reverbs running. So there's quite a bit running. Um, I've removed the video, hence this message. So this is the Cubase track loaded up. And what we'll do is just get the playhead back to the beginning of the track. And we're going to press play. And then I'm going to bring up the audio performance meter in Cubase and the activity monitor from Mac OS. Um, but what we'll just do before then is just check uh, buffer sizes and so on. So this is running a universal audio Apollo Twin uh, and it's running it at 256 samples. So a fairly small buffer size. So I'll get the track playing. I'll stop talking so you can hear the track but I'll bring the performance meters up as the track starts to play. So here we go. So this is a work in progress, this track, but you can see even with um, roughly about 65 virtual instruments all playing uh, with quite dense orchestration with the uh, reverbs and the fab filters and everything else running at the same time, didn't even really trouble uh, the performance meters of either Mac OS or within Cubase. Um, what I was also trying to show you as the track played is every one of these virtual instruments has got three mic positions enabled as well. So it's running three microphone positions for every single track. So that was the 
the first violin's legato, if we look at the second violin's legato, it's running three mic positions. If I go down to the flutes, you know, everything is running these three mic positions. So I think that's pretty impressive. This is on a laptop. It's running 65 roughly uh, virtual instruments, buffer size of 256 uh, samples, um, and it didn't trouble the system at all. I'm loving this machine. It's doing everything I need to and more. So um, I'll circle back round in a week or two's time when this track is finished, um, and I'll let you hear the finished product if you're at all interested. But that's the 64 gig M1 Max MacBook Pro. Thanks.